Welcome to another presentation of Washington Catholic Athletic Conference football featuring our very own DeMatha Stags. They will be hosting the LaSalle Explorers from Pennsylvania in the Brothers Forever Classic. It was a great game. Let's get to the highlights. LaSalle would get the opening kickoff and they would start uh, with great field position. Early on, they're introduced to a young man that came to play, but he didn't come to play nice. That's called an old-fashioned yoke by Chase Young. Later in the drive, and LaSalle's having trouble moving the ball. It's third down, Sire Madden takes the handoff, and in hot pursuit is Cole Williams, and he brings Madden down short of the first down. In case you are wondering how fast a stack could run, check out Lorenzo Harrison. He breaks loose, he's gone up the sideline, he nearly scores. Unfortunately, a horse collar tackle will bring him down, he'd be okay. The Stags would have to settle for a field goal and they're up early, 3-0. Explorers back on offense, Christopher Ferguson with the quick screen out to Mr. Nicholas Ranella, who takes off running, outrunning the defense down to the 32 yard line. And that's a beautiful play. The next play, and Ferguson drops back the pass. He tries to connect to Winston Banks, who draws the pass interference. And on the next play, Madden takes the handoff and takes the ball down to the two yard line. He wouldn't get in. And Matthew Savage would have to provide the tying score on the field. Mm -hmm. The Explorers on the kickoff and we have Brent Nelson receiving. He tries to look for room to run coming to his near sideline and that's laundry flying on the holding penalty and that would bury the Stags. The errant snap into the end zone and Bo English trying to dance his way out and the defense would swarm and tackle him for the safety and just like that 5-3 explores credit to the stag defense for holding the explorers punting and stags back i got it you got it i got it i'll take it that's anthony mcfarland looking for room to run and he finds it up the far sideline and the stags will start with great field Back with the Explorers with the ball because the Stags dig nothing. And we have Ferguson back to pass. And nope, he pulls it down, fakes out our cameraman. He's off and running and picks up positive yards. We have the refs convening on the next play and they're showing a face mask. The Stags are back on their heels and the Explorers are threatening to score. The Matha is a nationally ranked program, but somebody forgot to tell Nicholas Ranella who needs two hands when you got one, the one-handed grab for the touchdown. What is going on? The Explorers celebrating on the road. They're about to go up 12-3 on the Matha. English has his team in shotgun formation at the line. He's prepared to take the snap. He immediately fires, finds Anthony McFarland, who jumps up, signals first down, remove the chance. It appears the Stags are driving in the spread offense. We have Harrison in the backfield taking the handoff and he breaks but the wood is laid again by Ranella. he causes the fumble that's covered by anthony piscopo nicholas Ranella, all over the field the stacks and their fans have to be shocked wondering what's going on ferguson isn't he's scrambling he's firing he finds a man who is it Nicholas Ranella on the reception for the first down. Time running thin before the half on the Explorers and the shotgun formation is Ferguson taking the snap, dropping back the pass and he 
fires a laser as Charles Hidden, and he has caught that pass for the first down, and the chains are moving. Explorers in the shotgun formation. Madden takes the handoff, breaks right, and Andrew Robertson strips him of the ball, but Hedden with the quick play to recover the fumble ball, and the Explorers would try the 45-yard field goal before the half, but it's wide left, and they lead 12-3 at the break. Second half begins. Stax wastes a little time. Quick out to Robertson, who darts up the sideline, makes a couple of people miss. That's a first down. Same drive, second down. Out of the shotgun, McFarland takes the handoff. He makes one man miss, a second man, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh. That's a first down. Beautiful run. Same drive later on, the handoff, and the man dashes through. It's McFarlane, of course. Big run up the sideline. He's quick. That's another first down. Right to the next play, English with the ball on the keeper. He darts around the end. He makes a man miss, and he keeps moving. He dives to the two-yard line for the first and goal. First and goal, Corey Sproul in the backfield on the handoff. He stutter steps, and then Eliza Johnson and Marcus Miner flatten their opponents, making the way for Sproul to get into the end zone. And then we have Luca Fazio to provide the extra point to make the score 12-10, Explorers early third. Second and long, Explorers ready to take the snap, and just as they are preparing, the flags fly. They are called for, I believe, a delay of game that backs them up. On the uh, ensuing play, shotgun formation, quarterback drops back the pass. He's probably wishing he didn't, as Miles Ulufeni, number 41, and Shane Simmons, number 34, team up for the sack ensuing drive for the stags third and long on the jet sweep and it is shut down by the explorers the stags will be forced to punt oh explorers back to pass but it wouldn't last long ferguson would have to take off running but young and davis and hot pursuit will provide the stop the explorers would have to punt ensuing pass play and that is kellen taylor on the post pattern with thomas flavin the fourth out there on that island alone and the pass is complete for big yards the uh stags would have to work hard but the crowd is asking for more more and they want a touchdown and on fourth and long or fourth and short they uh, decide to go for it and that is uh harrison breaking through for the touchdown and for the first time since the early first quarter the stags go up 16 to 12 in the extra point here by luca fazio would make that score 17 to 12 Damantha. Second and long for the Explorers. Ferguson drops back the pass, but that's Williams and Young in hot pursuit and on the sack. That'll make it third and about 17 for the first down. English shotgun formation. He drops back and that's Hamilton Day, six foot six, going up big for the reception and that's a great night for him english on the next pass play and that's mcfarland just too quick eluding the defensive player who couldn't even touch him 23 to 12 stags a penalty on the explorers would allow the stacks to try the two-point conversion it's successful 25 to 12. Time running out on the Explorers. Shotgun formation, spread offense. Ferguson drops back the pass, but it's blocked by Young. The Explorers would punt. Stacks back in the spread offense. English in the shotgun formation. And that is Robertson 
catching that lateral. He makes a man miss. He makes another miss. What a move. And he dives into the end zone to finish off the scoring. He puts the stags up 31 to 12. It's getting too easy for DeMatha. This is the DeMatha team that everyone came to see. Unfortunately, the first half did not work out like they wanted it to but they came out in the second half and they put on a defensive and offensive clinic and they put to rest any thought of a comeback this is luca fazio adding that extra point to make it 31 to 12. any thought that the explorers would have a comeback would be put to rest just watch this closing speed by chase young that's the last play for the Explorers, and that's a sack, a fitting play for the defense led by Chase Young. Saturday or Friday, whenever we play. Whenever we come out here, we have to play our best football because we know they will. Hey, I'm good. Are you enjoying it? Absolutely. Right. Playing on a table like this is great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Coach Ken Harris, uh, state your name for me. Uh, Mark Goodson. Uh, can you tell me what was going on in the first half with the team as far as you could see? Uh, the problem in the first half was we were killing ourselves. Um, turnovers, penalties. We, we were hurting ourselves. There, there's nothing uh, in our game plan that we didn't feel we could use, but we just hurt ourselves. We only had three drives. Um, the first one we took advantage of, got a field goal out of, that, that one we should have punched in. And um, the next two drives, we gave the ball up, turnovers. Well, I asked Bro, and he said he doesn't think so, but do you think that the kids feel any pressure week in and week out uh, having this national spotlight on them? Oh, there, there is certainly a lot of pressure on these kids. Um, they're expected to play at a high level. And, um, you know, we as coaches try to keep them calm and try to keep them focused on the next play and executing. Um, but you can't deny that there's a lot of pressure on these kids, but that's why they come to the NAPA for that stage, to get them ready for the next level. That's our goal as coaches, is to get them ready to play at the next level. So it's, it's, that, that's the situation they're in, and they have to respond to it. And they did that tonight in the second half. And I want to lead to that. What was the game plan in the second half? Because you all came out like a firecracker, uh, running up and down the field. It's just more of what we were doing in the first half. But we didn't, we didn't turn the ball over. We didn't turn the ball over. We took it one play at a time, and we, we didn't change or alter anything we set out to do. And you know, the kids came out very motivated. You know, very motivated to get this win, especially for you know the namesake of our Convocation Center, Brandon Looney. Yeah. I think they responded to that challenge and um, they executed. 
Well, is the entire organization, are you all enjoying yourselves? Are you having oh, fun? Oh, uh, this is absolutely. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, th that's the only reason I'm doing it is because I love it. Um, I love the kids. Such a great group of kids. And, uh, man, getting to come out here on Friday night, a beautiful night like this, and, and, and do what we did. It's, that's why you felt so. you look forward to the travel, you look forward to the teams that are coming in from out, out of the state. Oh, I look forward to every week. Every every week. You only get, you only get, uh, you only guarantee 10. Oh, yeah. You only guarantee 10, so you got to make everyone count. Absolutely. Coach, thank you very much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Hey, go! 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 Oh, good game out there. Yeah. 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 Hey, seniors, stay where you want to go. Hey, seniors, from the yard. I'll make it tomorrow. Seniors, from the yard. Come on. Get down there next time. Join us next week for another presentation of Washington Catholic Athletic Conference football.